and honey. So I don't know where my little mallet is. So y'all already know this drill. No, no singing bowl today, honey. <laughs> hey, girl. Hello, my beautiful Leo. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general tarot reading. Now, Leo, I also do your weekly tarot reading for your you versus them reading between you and your person, Leo. So I'll leave a link to that over here for you to check out at a later point if you'd like. But Leo, be sure to remember when it comes to any of my readings, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective. I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, my Leo, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't, because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever, Leo, I promise you. Now, if you do find some cards that resonate with you, Leo, be sure to let me know which cards do and how they do, because that's how I keep up with you in the comments below, It's by you letting me know how the cards resonate in your life. And I also just find it so interesting to hear about um, how the cards just correlate in each of y'all's lives and when y'all's lives are just so different from one another, right? All of our lives are. So, um, yeah, if you do find some cards that resonate with you, Leo, I'd really appreciate it for you to take the extra time to give this video a like and subscribe, because I always appreciate when you guys take that extra effort to support my tarot channel in that way um and then yeah lastly before i get into this reading my beautiful leo i just want to remind you that i feel like when it comes to any tarot reading we shouldn't be making a decision in your life for you because it's your life to live not mine right leo so i feel like tarot reading should just be here to give you some food for thought or perspective for you to consider as you go throughout your week as you go throughout your life your day what have you but it should never be making a decision in your life it should be something that you think about solely first so all that said, let's get into your reading now, my beautiful Leo. So we have for your animal oracle card, the eagle spirit equaling number 23, equaling to number five, uh, my beautiful Leo. So be sure to write down the number five for numerology to look up later after this reading to see how it correlates for you in this week and in this reading even. Um, I should honestly do like a video, like a video series on the, each of the numbers and what they mean. So the eagle spirit what does it say spirit has your back um so i really enjoy this card it seems like such a simple message i mean because i guess it is in a way my beautiful leo but for someone like me when i see this card saying spirit has your back i see this as like they have something um warming up in the kitchen for you my leo they have something they plan on uh, bringing forward towards you that you're probably really going to like leo so definitely be on your toes this week pay attention to breadcrumbs even pay attention to see if there's um any type of bigger bird right i know like eagles are not like world everywhere so you can't just see an eagle but maybe just see if you um if you see like vultures vultures is another thing i'm just seeing like a big bird of some sort um it's like a sign that they'll come to you as maybe even in your dreams especially um but definitely it seems to be like a good omen um for you leo which i just enjoy because i know y'all leos had just especially last week honey oh my gosh leo y'all have been going through some heavy stuff haven't you right y'all have been going through some transitions y'all have just been tired honey <laughs> leo y'all have just been so tired and so i just want to say just keep persevering a little bit more leo because i feel like things are really starting like again like remember spirit has your back but um the cards that we're getting for this like i feel like your story is definitely getting better as i told you before as well um but we have the dawn of cups coming in for you or the page of cups in normal tarot so this is like a new something new some type of something uh how do i put this i don't want to say it's like an opportunity but i feel like this is almost like a second wind something you're feeling rejuvenated in some sense i feel like even though the page of cups represents like a new energy i feel like this is more so representing like a deeper having a developing a deeper relationship or a deeper appreciation for something in your life that really um brings them forward forward some clarity for you now with that clarity i am going to be honest here like i don't i know leo <laughs> i was just saying like your story is definitely getting better and it is honey it absolutely is leo but um i do feel like you're still going to have to be going through some transitions still uh, I say this because we have the Eight of Cups coming in here where it's just like you're being pushed to move on from something. You're being pushed to kind of let go um, and just kind of going out on your own, almost a sense of independence or just letting go of, this is very specific, but it's like letting go of somebody 
um, that has been bringing forth some chaos in your life. With this two of discs, it's almost like you've been piling too much on your plate. For some of you guys, maybe you have been trying to help out too many people. You've been too caring almost for some people. I say this because you have the Empress card coming in as well. Leo, I can't help but feel like you're trying to just care for too many souls when you should just be focusing on you, your own soul. Leo, I feel like this is just a time, this is the last thing that you should be doing is piling up stress, like worrying about other people's lives right now. Don't feel bad about, like, don't feel selfish. For my Leo's that feel selfish for just like focusing on yourself and feeling guilty about tending to yourself, you know, uh, I can't help but say, like, say this quote, but it's just like, no is the complete sentence, honey. You, you know, do not explain yourself. Do not feel like you have to say yes to everything. Um, you know, appreciate you yourself as the empress that you are as well. You acknowledging your own existence, your own feelings and all that isn't you being egotistical or full of yourself. I mean, you can be full of yourself. You can be completely full of yourself until your cup runneth over, right? Who's to, who's to judge you for that, right? You should be really respecting and honoring yourself. We're constantly teaching Leo, other people how to treat us. And so if we are not setting up those boundaries, this is essentially what I'm trying to imply, my Leo, uh, if we're not setting up those boundaries um, to teach people how to maneuver around us and how to connect with us, then um, you're just going to be walked all over. And I feel like this is just a time where you need to put yourself as first priority, which is something I know I've said to you in the past, Leo. So let's get into this reading now. So that was like the general spread of things, my be Leo. Now we're going to be getting into um, the actual rows of things. So Leo, we're going to start with your first row, which is covering your wealth and finances, your money, your job, career, passion projects, all that. You know, just your hustle, honey. Um, Leo, <laughs> excuse me. Um, and then your second row, anytime I start talking a lot, Leo, I always end up having like some like air that wants to come out. I always try to avoid burping on camera because it's rude. Um, your second row though is for my Leos interested in hearing about their social situations, right? Whether it's platonic, romantic, and you know, family, works, business, you know, just your social situations, right? You'll know what the situation when we get to it. And then for your last row, Sagittarius, why am I calling you Sagittarius, Leo? For your last row, my beautiful Leo, it's just some final thoughts and final clarifiers to wrap up the reading. So let's get into, oh, this card wanted to come out. Let's get into my Leo's career right now. All right. So we have the Seven of Cups coming in, as well as the Four of Wands, as well as the Judgment card. So... Leo, oh Leo, there's definitely a need for you to take action uh, in terms of your work. I don't know if it's just because you haven't been wanting to take action because you're considering too many um, possibilities, too many outcomes, or if you're just overwhelmed by choice and you're just not sure what the best choice is, right? I can't help but feel like Sagittarius, again, why am I wanting to call you Sagittarius, Leo? Um, I can't help but feel, Leo, with the Seven of Cups here, there's just like this sense of where it's like you're you don't want to make a choice like the choice the way that you're trying to make your decision is based off of what would like hone like specific results or like what would be the most successful which i guess in some ways that just sounds like of course that's how everyone functions but it's almost like more so in a sense of like picking a job that pays more Right, you don't really have a general specific calling to one of these cups in specific. You just want to pick the cup that is the most profitable, right? Um, but I can't help but feel like you just need to kind of just take action, Leo. Right, with this Four of Wands, this is the eleven eleven card. This is a card where it's just like you kind of just need to walk through that portal, honey, and things will start working out. Um, it's already there, the opportunity is there, the abundance is there, the portal is just there, honey. You just need to walk through. And that's when things just start manifesting in a beautiful way for you. But, you know, judgment card coming in, you know, that's the action card. So it's kind of a repetitive thing of where it's just like, what you know, think about what it is that you want, right? Just make a decision. Get out of this um, place of indecision, being indecisive, um, Leo. <laughs> Let's pull some clarifiers, though. I do feel the need... To pull some clarifiers for this. Mm -hmm. 
That probably sounded weird. I don't know what it is right now for y'all's reading, Leo. Um, <laughs> I'm like just so like, anytime I'm talking right now, it just feels like I'm like collecting a bunch of air in my chest. And so like, I feel self self-conscious about it because I'm not trying to like make it seem like I'm just like burping in y'all's face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a mess, Leo. I'm a mess. Uh. <laughs> All right. So let's get into this, Leo. I, I'm sorry for being weird. Uh, so the clarifier that we pulled for your Seven of Cups is the, funnily enough, the Ace of Cups. Um, this is more so where it's just like, again, where it's like, your cup's going to fill over, run off over what, with the decision that you make. You just, again, need to take action on it, uh, Leo. You just need to do something um you know with this two of wands coming in as the clarifier for your four of wands like leo like you, you the world is your oyster you're easily able like it's almost just like you're just over analyzing things you're just being so particular i mean and i guess it's i mean putting it in perspective i guess it is your life and like making big decisions in terms of like your career and work but it's just like from my perspective i just see you being able uh, to create so much, having the opportunity already just sitting there staring at you in the face, but you, there's just like this lack of action being taken and where it's because it's just like you're still considering all these other cups and just like, no, just take this, take this, choose your cup, right? <laughs> choose your fighter. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're going to close out that row now, Leo, and now we're going to be getting into uh, my Leos that are interested in hearing about their social situations now. Let's see what's going on for that. So, we have the Four of Cups, the Empress following you again, uh, Leo, as well as the King of Cups. So, <laughs> don't mind me, I'm such a mess. Uh, <laughs> with this, you're... There's someone that you're kind of like appreciating the lessons that they taught you. There, there's someone that you're really, um, it's almost like a bittersweet energy that I'm tapping into with this, Leo. There's someone that you kind of have like in a, I don't know if like whatever happened and I don't feel like you're talking to them now or if you are, it's very little. Um, but there's some type of like, you're seeing somebody in like a new light. You're ex uh, It's weird, but it's like you're experiencing some gratitude for this person. No, I feel like originally you weren't really uh, vibing with, you know, I feel like you didn't, you guys aren't on like the best of terms, just like a hunch, but let's pull some clarifiers for this, see what's up. Mm. Yeah, okay. So I don't feel like this is like a permanent thing. This is more so for my Leos that they're probably just like a little bit of an argument, a misunderstanding. Um, and I see it on both sides wanting to like work things out, reconnect. Um, Leo. Four of Cups, the clar clarifier that we have is the Four of Wands following you. So notice there seems to be this theme that is some other presence because we had that Four of Wands before as well. Um, it's almost like, yeah, like, again, similar thing, similar vibe in the sense that like, just take, if you're wanting to reconnect with this person, if you're wanting to um, make it work with a similar to Aries reading almost, um, you know, wanting to just reconnect with the person, just go out and do it, right? The clarifier we pulled for the Empress card is the Magician card. Um, I don't know, for some of you Leos, maybe there's like this hesitation because you're just like, you don't know where they're at, right? You don't know where the other party's thoughts or emotions or anything like that, where they stand. Um, but from your perspective, it just seems like you're wanting to uh, reconnect with them and create with them again, right? It seems like you think very highly of this person and maybe like some words were said that you know like in the mo heat of the moment that you didn't mean or they didn't mean but it's almost just like it's weird but it's just like it's something like i keep hearing it's just not the same anymore it's not like how it used to be but the two of cups with the king of cups lets me really know you care about this person it lets me oh this is a deep connection leo what's going on here you know it shows to me you care so much about this person but what's you know what's stopping this what's the block here queen of swords and the ace of oh okay someone's pride is in the way i don't know if it's you or the other person leo then uh, you'll let you you obviously you will know um someone wants to extend out communication but they're like being like oh no because someone feels wronged in this situation so they're just like they're waiting for the other person to do it because it's like this queen of swords doesn't feel like they have to be the one to do it this queen of swords feels like no they're the one that made that mistake so they should be the one to 
come forward to the other person and apologize, right? Um, we can just be optimistic, my beautiful Leo. We can just assume that um, it's you, Leo, that was the wronged one or feeling justified and not um, reaching out first. But the thing I wanna say, Leo, um, and I know it's a lot easier for me to say it because my emotions aren't involved in this situation, but I feel like that's even more reason for you to pay attention to what I have to say um, because I'm not emotionally invested. But, you know, it shows to me you care a lot about this person. And, you know, I don't know what their feelings are. Maybe we'll see it, understand it, and later on this week for your you versus them reading, Leo. But I, you know, I, if you care a lot about this person, which I feel like you do, um, put the pride away, Leo. Put the pride away. Be the one, like, you can still hold them accountable, right? You can reach out to them and be like, hey, let's talk. But you can still hold them accountable. You being the bigger person, and reaching out to them or just reaching out in general it doesn't have to be someone being bigger than the other person you just reaching out because you care it shouldn't be something that these view as like a weakness or like whatever right you can reach out to them and be like hey i'm reaching out to you because i care about us but i also need to hold you accountable to whatever it is that happened right so final thoughts on cards we have the tower card coming in honey um definitely confirming this is page of swords yeah so leo definitely this seems to be continuing on from your social situation it does seem like some like the floor is like ripped from under you leo from in some sense when it comes to this person when it comes to your home life it doesn't have to be like a relationship i just really need to say especially with this ten of pentacles it could be a like ten of pentacles is your home life your stability you, your inner circle of people your peeps right your family your close friends and all that something happened between like you know some type of rift happened some type of misunderstanding fight whatever it is whatever's happened between y'all leo something's happened and now they're watching there is like this sense with this page of swords like there is some type of communication wanting to happen so very interesting in this way leo what are you going to do in this situation You're probably honestly you, this is probably on both sides, right? You're probably the same one as well. Like, you know, I know that I said, like, they're watching. Like, you're probably doing the same exact thing, Leo, because it's just like, you both care. You both care, Leo. But both of you guys are seemingly, seemingly like, being too prideful and just letting the other person know how much you care about them. So, oh, to be... <laughs> to just not have emotions involved, right? But that wouldn't be human, right? We all just have so many emotions and that's what makes things so complex and so not black and white. So yeah, Leo, this is the cards that I have for you. This is the reading that I have for you. Very interesting reading, fabulous overall. Very fabulous overall, just definitely seems to be like this focus of, um, you know, just address the situation with this person. You can still hold them accountable, but mess reach out to them, Saji. Reach out to them. And I don't feel like you, were, you will um, regret uh the result from it um let's just see uh let's have some i actually feel drawn to pull a couple more cards just for you leo because i didn't even pull clarifiers anyways for these cards but i don't feel like we need to i feel like this is just a separate thing leo i just want to vibe out with you all a little bit longer i guess so <laughs> maybe i should have stopped leo <laughs> like the tower card came out again uh for you with the four of discs and the knave of cups so leo this is really just the same exact message of what i was just saying really emphasizing like this connection that there's like y'all had like some type of fight some type of argument and it's just like some distance now you reconnect with this person right four of discs it's like it's worth investing your pentacles into this person knave of cups is the page of cups you know reconnect with them uh i feel like this is going to bring you guys closer if you allow this tower moment to bring you guys closer but it has to be something that one action just needs to happen right someone needs to communicate and be the first to speak but um i feel like the situation has the potential to really bring you two closer together um and we're more than two people if there's more than two people involved in this situation uh leo i feel like if you guys if all parties allow this to happen this can really help you guys understand one another better and really just learn from the situation and just become better people as well you know this is a this could be a very beautiful character building exercise that y'all have went through but um yeah leo i guess we'll, let me just stop shuffling these cards now so i don't pull any more tower cards for you because you're probably just like stop 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 okay. um, but yeah my beautiful leo i love you so much thank you for allowing me to do this tarot reading for you it is such a pleasure to do um i hope you're doing all right i know you had pretty rough last few weeks um so i'm just giving you guys a little bit of extra love 
Um, but Leo, if you enjoyed this reading, let me know in the comments below. Uh, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, and then share my videos with a friend that you think might be into my messages. But until next time, my beautiful Leo, I'll connect with you very soon in the future, hopefully. I love you so much.